In the finance class notes, uh, we have a $160,000 house finance class notes with a 12% down payment at 4.29% for 15 years. It asks for the monthly mortgage payments and the total amount paid and total interest paid. And here's one I skipped over. Um, amount of first payment applied to principal. So um, the first thing I might want to do is calculate the down payment amount. 12% of $160,000 could be found by multiplying 0 0.12 times 160,000. So menu one to go into the regular calculator and you type it in 0 0.12 times 160,000. Oh, I was way off, wasn't I? 19,200. What did I say? 20 something. Oh, whatever. The down payment is $19,200. Hmm? I got too many zeros. Thank you. Put the comment in the right spot. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm ready to jump into my TVN solver now. So on the Casio, that's menu C F2. On the TI, it's apps enter enter. So we've done a few of these together now. Can anybody tell me what should N be? 160,000 times 20. 12 times something, but not times 160,000. Times, times 15, right. It's monthly oh, payments. Years, I'm sorry. Times the year of the loan. That's okay. And when you hit enter or execute, your calculator should show you that that's 180. Um, the I percent that's given in the problem is 4.29. And now, if I don't want to do 160,000 minus 19,200, because that might require me to go out of my TVM solver if I'm not very comfortable with it. I could think of this circle as the whole cost of the house, and I'm taking a slice out that accounts for 12% of it for the down payment. So then how much is left? 88% of the cost of the house is how much the PV is, or how much the loan amount will be. So in the PV, I'm going to type, or I'm instructing you to type, 0.88 times 160,000, and I know this, I know it this time, $140,800, and I know I'm right too. <laughs> <laughs> and actually that dollar sign doesn't go into your TVM solver, I just get in the habit of putting dollar signs on everything because you need to put dollar signs on all your answers in your worksheet for full credit. Now right now I don't know the payment, the previous answer might already still be in my calculator, so I'm going to reset that to zero so I don't accidentally copy the previous answer. And we always leave the FV as zero and the PYCY as 12. So once you get that all typed into the TVM solver, if you have a Casio, you would press F4 to find the payment. If you have a TI, you would put your cursor next to this PMT, not the one on the bottom of the screen, and press the green alpha button and then the enter key. And... What do you get? 106206? Yeah. Did you see that? No tricks, no calculator. Okay, so the monthly payment on this loan would be $1,062.06 per month. So that's the mortgage payment. That's the first part that they asked for, 106206. And then the next thing they ask for is total amount paid. So I'm going to come down here to work that total amount paid. Out. And to do that, I'm going to take payment times N plus down payment. So the payment that we had calculated in the TV I'm okay, was $1,062.06. Figured out that that would be for 180 payments. And the down payment was 
200. Now, if you want to go back into your regular calculator, on the Casio, you press menu and the number one. On the TI, you would second quit to get out of the TVM cipher. Realtor.com. And let's see, do you get two? What do you get? $210,370.80. That's the total amount paid. So this $160,000 house, it's going to end up costing $210,370.80 over the 15 years you're borrowing the money for. And to find the total interest paid, we take payment times N minus PV. So the payment of 10.6206 times 180 minus the loan amount for 140,800. Um, you should get fifty thousand three hundred seventy dollars. You want the spot? I'm about to eighty cents. I know I see you sitting here quite often. For your total interest paid, and now the last part of this question asks you of the first month's mortgage payment, which is applied to principal, and you need two formulas. The first is the simple interest formula that you've already worked with, which is I equals P R T where the P in this formula is really the PV. And because we're using a formula or an equation here instead of an F on our calculators, we need to type in the APR as decimal equivalent. So right now, the way it's giving to us as 4.29% is as a percentage. We need to convert that to the decimal equivalent. And the time in these problems will always be 112. So we're going to work out this part, and then we'll move to the second equation required for solving. So the interest is equal to the PV, the amount of the loan, which is 140800 times the interest rate of 4.29% expressed as a decimal is 0 0.0429. And then I had already told you that the time should be 112. So we put that into our calculators as... 1 divided by 12. And if you want to take a moment to type this into your calculator, and tell me if you get 503.36. Okay, but it's not asking me of the first month's mortgage payment how much is applied to interest. It's asking me how much is applied to principal. So the second formula I need is the payment minus the interest equals the principal. So we had a payment of 106206, and we calculated the interest in the first month's payment as 50336, and we find the difference in those to be 558.70. And this is the answer that they're looking for in part D of this question. Um, the reason why we use this second formula here is because your payment, um, your mortgage payment every month is going to be comprised of two parts. The principal, which is the money that you borrowed from the bank, plus the interest, which is the charge for borrowing that money from the bank. But we don't have principal and interest, we have payment and interest. So I just manipulated this formula to solve for principal instead of solving for payment. Um, if you Google amortization schedule <coughs> and choose the first one that pops up, which is uh, bank rates, you can do some really cool stuff in there. And you've got to come to class to see what I do with that. But it's uh, a good way to check your work, especially for your mortgage project. However, you are required to show your own work for your mortgage project. So please don't rely on anything that you find online. I want to see you typing in your <coughs> paper what your TVM solver looks like. What are you typing in for N, I percent, PV, PMT, FE, PY, and CY. Okay. That concludes this video. Stay tuned for more.